All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is May 22nd, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Guys, I want to show you the title to this article. Now, over in Australia, there was a bright light that seems like a fireball. But uh, many residents are joking around saying that it could be a UFO, and experts are saying that it's space junk that is just falling from the sky. Um, there's a video here I want to play for you guys. I haven't read the article, but I've seen some YouTubers post video about it. But uh, once again, guys, we are seeing some some event here um, in the past you know, year. There's been a lot of stuff that's been falling from the sky. So uh, you have the Space Force, satellite. You have so many things up there. Now, I mentioned this many, many times that the sun has entered its lockdown period and that means that we could see earthquake, volcan uh, uh, volcanic eruption, um, storms, weather, hurricanes increasing. But also, it will affect those like astronauts, satellites could be falling from the sky. So we are seeing something strange happening in the year 2020. And there is a video here I want to play for you guys. Now, before I start, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It will let you know when my video is uploaded. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the love and support. All right. So, Friday, May 22nd, 2020 at 3.55 p.m. Witnesses described it as a surreal sight. So, let me just remove myself and you, uh, so you guys have a better view. Set up the audio. Hopefully, there's no music in the background. All right, so there's music in the background. Just give me a second here. Uh, okay, let's go back. Um, so, this happened on the 22nd, 2020. People across Southern Australia, excuse me. Ah. Uh, Australia and Tasmania witnessed a surreal a, as a huge fireball slowly burned across the sky. What was originally thought to be a meteor turned out to be much more of man-made junk. And once again, look at that. Whoa. Wow. So... Uh, this is not a meteorite, I can tell you that. Because a meteorite or a fireball will actually, uh, will actually, uh, 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 show like a green light, a green or bluish light. Let me just play this one more time. Oh, great. It's the advertisement. Yes, perfect. Just what we need. Okay. Let me skip it. And no, they're not gonna. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to refresh the page. I totally apologize, guys. Uh, again, some of these websites they actually do these type of stuff that uh, you watch the video and then you want to watch it again, but they won't let you. So you have to refresh the page. Okay, now let's look at the picture really quick. So here we go. That is incredible. It looks like a bow and arrow. Someone like. Ah, I just shot it down. It's a possibility the an uh, the angels. All right, uh, let's play this video one more time. So here we go. It's not a missile. It's not a missile. I could tell you that. Uh, it's not a fireball. It has to be something. Uh, I've seen videos of space junk, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. This is a. Uh, this is strange. That is strange. So it says right here, while a meteor fireball will flash by in mere seconds at speeds of tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, this object was moving at a much slower pace. It won't let me play it. Oh, there we go. So also, meteor fireballs tend to emit bright white light, maybe tangled with green, blue, or yellow. Uh, 
but this orange fireball was trailing obvious flame, smoke, and debris at its plunge through the air. And it, look at it. It doesn't even seem like a space junk. It seems like something else. Uh, those are the tell, telltale signs that this was no meteor, but instead a piece of space junk, likely a Russian rocket booster burning up on a re-entry into the atmosphere. All right, so we kind of have an idea here. So it's basically one of the Russian space junk that fell from from out there. Okay, so let's see uh, what's going on. Get some more details here, guys. Uh, residents of so uh, southeastern Australia and Tasmania witnessed a fantastic sight in the sky Friday night as fireball blazed by overhead. Thomas Tuse, a farmer in Creswick, Vic, uh, Victoria, northwest of Melbourne, called the site surreal and told Storyful it was massive and lasted about 20 seconds. Assumed at first glance to be a meteor. Once again, guys, a meteor would break off into pieces. It would literally disappear in, in, in seconds. The bright light caused by a chunk of space or icy plunging into the atmosphere after floating through space for billions of years. Instead, though, it turned out to be something with a more mundane, earthly origin. All right. Um... They, look, you got to ask yourself, what's going on up there? What's going on? Uh, well, once again, guys, meteors might have taken this one. A, a, a small piece of fireball might have slammed into the satellite or something, taking down one of the Russian uh, objects up there in the sky and just literally just destroyed it and falling down to Earth. So a screen cap of the video captured by farmer Thomas Toes on May 22nd. We're going to skip this one. After uh, scrutinizing the video footage of the fireball, sky watchers and scientists alike noted a few details that set this apart from your typical meteor fireball. First, it was traveling very slow by comparison. When a meteor rod enters Earth's atmosphere from space, it is typically traveling at a speed between 11 and 72 kilometers per second. That's 40,000 kilometers each to 260,000 kilometer each. Uh, so the media produced appears to flash by in only a few seconds. Often, this isn't even though even enough time to grab your cell phone and record the event. Meaning that this thing, look, if a, a, a fireball will last for like a split second, sometimes four. Only cameras that are already running and pointing the right direction. Webcams, security cameras, and dashboard cameras tend to capture them. Second, the color of the fireball, as well as the obvious disintegrate, uh, disintegration seen from it, will have been fairly unusual for a meteor rod. Meteor fireballs usually flash bright white, with maybe a slight tinge of color, blue, green, or yellow. The exact color depends on the speeds, the atmospheric gases it is compressing, and what kind of minerals or metals might be vaporizing off the meteorite surface. In this case, the fireball is glowing orange, white, and is trailing visible flames and smoke. Here's another picture. I would like to find out more about this. So if you guys have any idea, I mean, what is a possibility from Russia, maybe other countries, but let me know down in the comments box. From left to right, the appearance of the fireball changed from beginning to end and glowing flaming debris breaking away as it passed through the air. Some larger space rocks to, uh, do break apart at, as they pass through the air. These fragmentation always follow an extremely bright, polite flash from the object, and the smaller fragments quickly wink out. Here, the debris is still visible for some time after breaking away from the object. 
Okay, so meteor sighting. So let's see what's going on here. Just look at it. Here. All right. Okay. Uh, so the fact is, the fact it was slow moving and at a shallow angle, and an amount of disintegration was occurring. Gave it away. Perry Vlahos, Vice President of Astronomical Society of Victoria told Guardian Australia. It was not an alien spacecraft, a meteor, or a comet. It is a late-stage Russian rocket that put up a satellite about 5.30 our time this afternoon, he added. So that spent rocket stage has re-entered the atmosphere. Indeed, according to RussianSpaceWeb.com, military personnel at Plesetsk uh, Cosmodrome in northern Russia launched a Soyuz 2 rocket on May 22, 2020, successfully delivering a classified payload which is believed to be the fourth satellite for the nation's newest constellation designed to provide the Kremlin with Earth early warning about launches of ballistic missiles around the world. Astronomer Jonathan McDowell from the Harvard, Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics uh, posted a similar conclusion on Twitter. Russian launched a Soyuz 1B fra uh, frigate from Pelisk at 7.31 UTC May 22nd. The Soyuz third stage was inserted into a marginally orbited, orbital excuse me, trajectory with re-entry at first paradigmatic, uh, truly apologize about that word, south of t uh, Tasmania. The fragment uh, fourth stage placed the payload, uh, payload in a highly elliptical monia orbit. The payload is the fourth EKS satellite with a infrared telescope for missiles launch detection. So no TLE yet. Re-entry of the third stage was widely observed from Australia. This is not the first time rocket debris has fallen or been seen burning over populated areas of the planet. In March 2015, the breeze from a Chinese rocket launched in 2014 streaked over Western Canada. In October 2018, a fuel tank crashed to the ground in a walnut orchard in Hanford, Connecticut, after a defunct satellite burned up on re-entry. Earlier this month, on May 11, 2020, one of the largest pieces of space junk to make an uncontrolled re-entry into the atmosphere, the nearly 18-ton empty core stage of Chinese Long March 5B rocket passed over the United States from Los Angeles to New York before crashing down into the Atlantic Ocean of the west coast of Africa. In most, case, in most cases, these pieces of space debris completely disintegrate and burn up as they pass through the atmosphere, larger and more doable places. However, we can survive all the way to the surface. Okay, all right. So that's the end of it, guys. Okay, so once again, it is not a meteorite. It is not a comet. It's a man-made object. Basically, uh, Russia uh, launching um, something in the in the sky, which again, all nations do this, and uh, whatever's left over of it will crash down. 
but supposedly it is safe. Nobody's going to get hurt. Just people's going to look up and say, oh, look how beautiful is that? Wow. It's made from Russia. Well, here's the big problem. Um, do the people need to be worried? I mean, what kind of, uh, I mean, we don't know what's in this thing because this thing is uh, just flying over the sky of Australia. It could carry radiation or whatever. Who knows? So once again, guys, it is not a UFO. It's not a UFO. It is man-made junk. Another way to uh, kind of mess up God's beautiful planet that he created for us. Just, uh, you know, I, again, I'm not bashing Russia here, but this is all nation. So uh, once again, guys, uh, I know a lot of people joking around about this, saying that it is a UFO. No, it's not a UFO. It is a man-made man -made object, space junk. Anyway, guys, leave comments down below. This is, uh, this you know, what's a very powerful article. So uh, again, for those of you that want to send letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number 2, 3432 U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to support this channel, again, the links are in the, des in the description box. And for those of you that want to talk about Jesus Christ or want to give your light to Christ, email me. My email is in the description box. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless. Give your light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.